So when I was younger, I used to read um, back issues of Scientific American from many years ago. And I was really um, thrilled by a particular column in it called Metamagical Themes. And it, it gave lots of inspiration to try different things. For instance, trying to make um, early versions of fractals, which were incredibly beautiful. Uh, I was trying to actually start doing them on my own computers. And later, uh, when I worked for IBM, before I went to university on their computers, uh, all I really succeeded doing is, is making very pretty pictures that I really found interesting and crashing the mainframe computer for IBM. So I'm working on a project called The Intelligent Toilet, among many other things, because I'm interested in how light interacts with materials and uh, at the root of the intelligent toilet is how does light interact with molecules which are part of our bodies. So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to understand in, in our, our bodily fluids, can we spot small molecules which actually how we work, sort of the hormones, neurotransmitters that are actually part of our, our body. And so we're trying to build new sorts of ways that light will interact with these to make sensors to understand uh, what are the very small concentrations that are in our bodies. We actually know very little about our, our own health. When we go to a doctor, a doctor asks us how we're feeling, and it's actually because we have no way of measuring how we're feeling. And, and one of the reasons is that although we have devices that we might wear on our, our wrist at some point, they basically tell us whether we're alive or dead, not much more than that. What we really want to buy is biochemical information from the molecules that are in our bodies. So for instance, if we're trying to work out, should we take a drug now? Uh, have we taken drugs? Did your aunt take her drugs that she was supposed to do? Then we're trying to understand that these uh, small molecules like hormones that control how our body really works, but they're very small concentrations. So the idea is that we need to build new sorts of sensors and this will unlock um, part of our society to try and work out um, how we actually are, are doing in our health and whether we need to intervene. And this area is called um, personalized medicine or, or precision healthcare. And it's actually what we need to really uh, uh, to be able to develop uh, the way that we look after people in our society in the future.